Hi, I was planning to do a reaction that uses Trimetal Auto Format, and the best way to make Trimetal Auto Format, I think, is with sodium. I can't buy sodium easily, and I have some experience making it, so I will repeat this, just with basically one slight variation. And that is that I will be using this heating mantle that I have made, basically as I proposed in one of my design videos for better cell, so at least I can test that and report whether this works or not. This design is a little bit different still, because it is supposed to fit beer can in there, and if you think that this is very brave to do, I would agree with you. Again, idea is quick and dirty prototype, and I will probably throw this away when I am done. So how this went? Well, I have done two runs, basically with two beer cans. During first run I did not see any problems whatsoever. I should have done this probably with regulated mantle, because I had to switch this one on and off manually because correct temperature is somewhat important during this process. And besides of this mantle I have tested also different power supply. I have made back converter and run it from PC power supply. That went actually extremely well, the back converter was running at about 20 amps and it could handle that without any sweat. It can supply about 70 amps into short circuit but then it needs cooling. Of course this setup produced very high amounts of caustic fumes and it was extremely unpleasant to work near this thing, I forgot about that. So question is, were there any issues? Well, two basically. First is very minor, but it is an issue, and that is that sodium and calcium sulfate when mixed they will do a termite reaction, as can be seen here. Hey, fuck. And the second one is quite major. During second run I got a leak from the container. It may sound incredible, but turns out that beer can isn't that strong really. First I thought that some so drop of sodium hydroxide has weaked the calcium sulfate and shorted the wire to the can, but that doesn't really make sense when you think about it, because it's isolated, so it would have to happen on two places independently. But in any case, this is very easily preventable. Basically just have a secondary container that is steel or something like that, that is not very easily attacked by sodium hydroxide and is also cheap. And you can have inside aluminium removable container. During second run I have made only about 5 grams of sodium, which I would like to have more. Since I am doing a lot of organic chemistry these days, I probably could use some sodium cell that can run ideally unattended because the fumes are bad. On the other hand though, the about 20 amps that I was using was almost enough to keep this whole container liquid. So that's also very good, and I'm not sure if I can combine these two properties. My point is that I will probably try, at least to make this as easy as possible. There's not much really in this video, sorry about that, I was really thinking about whether I should post it or not. Well, chemistry is hard, and often reactions don't work, so that's why I haven't posted for a long time. But I have some material now, so I will do some more videos soon. Okay, so that's it for now, and see you next time.